Friday of the ninth week, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord David himself calls him Lord. When Jesus teaches in Jerusalem, he has to face influential people like the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Herodians, who unlike the rural folk in Galilee, are not open to his teachings. These people pose loaded questions to him on paying taxes to Caesar, on the resurrection, and the first of the commandments. Jesus answers so well that no one dared to ask him any more questions. Now, it is Jesus' turn to ask. The teachers of the law, basing themselves on scriptural passages, teach that the Messiah is the son of David. Now in Psalm 110, chapter 1, which is attributed to David, David himself calls the Messiah Lord. Since the Father is greater than the Son, David could not call the Son of David Lord. No answer is given, and the crowd hears this with delight because Jesus pins down his detractors. They themselves probably do not know the answer. The Christians in Mark's time would also hear this with delight because they knew the answer. It is in the opening words of the Gospel itself, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus the Messiah is the descendant of David according to the flesh, but He is the Son of God according to the Spirit of holiness, conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. David is right to call Him Lord because Jesus is the Divine Messiah. Have you read the infancy narratives of Matthew and Luke? What do they say about the origin of Jesus?